Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mushroom Brainy, guys. Another video, guys. I apologize if I sound a little stuffy. I am still sick from yesterday. I don't know what it is. I guess the season change got me really sick. But guys, in today's video, we're going to be giving you guys the best 10 tips in order to get more kills in the game, guys. So in Fortnite Battle Royale, a lot of people do care about wins, but a lot of people care about getting more than 10 kills a game. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. I'm going to give you guys the 10 best tips in order to get more kills in your game of Fortnite, you guys. So guys, make sure to soak in all this information. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. So starting off with tip number one is where you land, guys. On the map, you want to go somewhere that's pretty heavy populated. I know in my other videos on how to win in Fortnite, I tell you to land somewhere that's like uh, away from everyone. But if you want more kills, you need to land at the populated places. Like basically, Greasy Grove is one of the most populated places this week because of the chest. A lot of people are trying to go there to complete the week challenges, search the chest. And also, the battle bus flew right over greasy grove first a lot of people are really eager to get into the game they don't really want to wait in the battle bus so a lot of people try to drop at the first city so this is why you guys are seeing us as a team dropping at greasy grove one because it is a populated place especially with week one challenges or week two challenges actually out and a lot of people want to go here and then two because it's the first city that people are landing at and as you guys can see right here i literally got the shotgun before everyone else and once you get a weapon it's all about where you land if you can land at a place like this and get a good shotgun right off the rip i got three kills and these people didn't have any weapons the only person that had a weapon was that guy with the pistol but i knew where he was coming from i did get pretty weak from him but it's okay because i killed that full squad got three kills right from the start and just like that we're already off to an amazing start now you got to keep in mind it doesn't always go that smooth sometimes you're going to land and they will get the shotgun before you so you can get screwed over but if you do want a high kill gameplay that's what you have to do the second tip that i want to give you guys is helping friends out when they call it out like as you guys can see in the background here Gamo was actually in a fight with somebody right here, but I came over instantly. Yes, I did steal his kill. He probably could have handled the guy alone, but I went over there because I was like, you know what? I'm going to steal the kill, and it's okay to steal your teammates' kills because in the end, it's all about who gets the victory right now. So if we can win the game and you're dropping over here 17 kills, it's fine because you still won the game as a team, you know? So it doesn't matter. Even if you're stealing your teammates' kills, sometimes it happens. Uh, that's how you actually get a lot of the kills because there's no way you're going to be able to kill 40 people on your own without a teammate, you know? Unless you do solo squads or something like that, it's going to be very difficult. So you got to make sure that you steal kills and stuff like that. Another thing that I want to talk to you guys about, the third tip is not thirsting people in gunfights. A lot of people think that if they thirst, it's going to be automatic free kill. This is not true, you guys. What you want to do is when you knock somebody, don't thirst because the second you thirst them, you're you're taking seconds away from you focusing their other teammates just to kill them so that way your teammates can end up knocking them. You want to literally knock them and start focusing their friends so that way they their friends are going to try to come help them out. So they're going to push back. They're going to either try to help them or they're going to build around them to try and save them. So that's when you need to shoot them as much as possible. If you're sitting there thirsting people, you're, you're wasting seconds. You're wasting time actually trying to get the kill. So again, I know a lot of people do like thirsting so that way they can get the guaranteed kill. But guys, if you want want more kills in the game do not thirst try to kill as many of the people as possible like i said go for go for once you knock one go for their teammates that way you can get two or three kills out of that squad of four you want to try and get as many people out of the group of four people that you actually run into uh that's actually bringing us to our fourth tip you guys which is play squads you guys a lot of people think that solos you can get a lot more kills it is possible to get more kills in solos but honestly squads is probably the best way to go in order to get more kills my highest kill gameplay is 23 kills and that's because i did it in a squad game plus this way you have teammates to help you out so if you do go down or die you're not completely dead you have teammates that can actually clutch it out pick you up and save you so that way if you get like nine kills or you kill a full squad or three people and the last guy knocks you or something your teammates can come save you and then you still get those three three kills and you can keep playing the game on from there on out i know you guys saw me thirst that person but the reason i thirsted him it was because he got me weak i needed his mats i needed his shields and i knew none of his teammates were around so there was no point in doing that i was gonna have to heal up anyway so if i'm gonna take the time to heal let me thirst this guy so i can actually get heals get his mats and all that stuff and his teammates don't rush me or anything like that so you gotta know when exactly to do certain things but coming on to our fifth tip and that is to get aggressive you guys have to get extremely aggressive in this game mode especially in squads as your teammates are pushing up on you you need to be in the front of the pack with your shotguns or anything like that so that way you can actually get the people weak a lot of the fights that you want to get are shotgun fights now i know your teammates are going to be behind you giving you cover fire from behind 
But as you guys can see right here, none of my teammates are with me. If you guys look at the top right corner on the mini map, look, none of my teammates are with me. I'm pushing up on the squad alone, and I'm shooting them with the RPG, you guys. I'm, I'm putting up really aggressive gameplay I'm, I'm trying to rush them as quick as possible and i'm taking on a full squad but that's because i had a grenade launcher i heard them fighting so i knew they weren't going to be expecting me to come and that's actually our sixth step is grenade launcher you guys you want to have a grenade launcher because it is the most valuable weapon in the game to get as many kills as possible guys as you saw there there was a full squad of three i didn't have to do anything but shoot grenades in their little base and that's all you have to do whenever you're pushing up on a squad or a team and they're, they're building their own little base literally spam the grenade launcher at that base as many times as possible and i guarantee you're gonna knock at least two people sometimes you can kill the full squad and that's an easy four kills automatically as you guys can see i already have 10 kills just because i was playing super aggressive i landed at a good location i literally have the grenade launcher to kill three people right from the start and it's, it's looking good you guys so if you follow those tips already we have 10 kills just from those six tips right there but I can't stress it enough how important tip six is, you guys. If you can't find a grenade launcher within the game, it's okay. Find RPGs or something, but you will eventually run into it. If you're getting a good amount of kills, you're going to find somebody that has a grenade launcher. If your teammates have it, just be like, yo, please let me get the grenade launcher, you guys. Let me get it. So you got to give the call out to your teammates and be like, yo, guys, can I have the grenade launcher? Let them know that you want to get more kills. You want to try and use the grenade launcher. Give up your sniper rifle for it. A lot of people like sniping in this game, but give up a sniper rifle for a grenade launcher. It's more important if you want more kills to rock a grenade launcher rather than a sniper because again you can get a lot more kills using a grenade launcher as you can see here the other team shooting us with grenade launchers and what do i do i fire them right back at them which actually guys we're going to talk about step number seven and this is getting high ground you never want to be below somebody you never want to be looking up at somebody because one it makes it extremely easy for them to get headshots. Number two, as you can see here, I'm literally looking down at him so that way I can easily get a headshot on him. I know where he is and I have the high ground advantage on this guy. So always get high ground. It makes headshots extremely easy because you're looking down at them. So it's going to be very, very easy to get a headshot. And as you can see right here, this dude's somewhere in there. So I just spam grenade launchers. That's all I do. Just spamming grenades in there and I get the kill. That's how easy it is, you guys. So again, I can't stress it enough. Tip number six, make sure you have that. Tip number seven, make sure you get high ground on people. People always you guys you always want to have high ground and that's actually bringing us to step number eight if you see your team your team's ahead of you and you see they're pushing a certain direction at a team what you want to do is flank if you if your team's shooting at them before you get to them first whoever's shooting at them first they're going to be the ones that's getting focused so say your team of three push up to a team of four and the team of four is shooting at your teammates your two other teammates that are shooting them first so what you want to do is you want to try to use the hills try to get cover don't let them see you flanking and then hit the them with the biggest flank in the world you're gonna literally get behind them see them easily and just knock them as quick as possible so guys i can't stress it enough flanking is huge in this game uh you just got to know how to do it you can't you can't do it in the open you have to literally use the hills and stuff like that for cover like right now i'm getting focused hard as you're getting focused give the call out to your teammates be like yo i'm getting focused hard that basically means hey they're not looking at you guys. You guys can either shoot at them back or you can flank. So that's all you got to do. Teamwork communication is big when it comes to getting a lot of kills. You got to know where the enemy is and stuff like that. And that's actually bringing us to our next tip tip number nine is to listen you guys and what i mean by listen is not just to listen but also talk communication you guys you want to listen to your teammates you want them to tell you hey there's a guy over here that's weak or they'll give the call out when they light somebody up and they're like yo this guy's one shot focus that guy knock him real quick not only is it good because you get the kill but it's good because you're it's one less person that you and your teammates have to worry about so for instance say our team of four is rushing a team of four and we have a guy weak instead of sitting there focusing the other people why not knock that guy so that way he'll never ever have a chance to heal up he'll never have a chance to shoot back at you guys it's just one less person you guys have to worry about so again if you hear your teammates say hey this guy's weak this guy's one shot it's, it's a win-win because you get the kill and also on top of that not only do you just get the kill but it makes it easier for your team to push up on them and again as you guys can see in the background right now we're killing a full team, but am I thirsting anyone? No, because I'm focusing all the other people. I'm not thirsting a single person because I know, hey, this is a team of four. This is the last team of four. There's one more person alive. So if I sit there and spend the seconds trying to thirst him, I'm going to miss out on the opportunity of getting the kill, which is right here. This is why I think I got the kill because I didn't care about looting. I didn't care about thirsting anyone. I was literally just looking for the person. And that's what you guys need to do. You need to be really focused and try to find the people. As a squad, as a team, we all dropped good numbers of kills. I had four 
14. Someone had four, someone had six, and someone had, I think, five. So we had a good number of kills, but I had 14. I had the most because I was the aggressive one. I had the grenade launcher, and I did every tip that I basically said in this tip and trick video, you guys. So all these 10 tips, focus on these tricks, and you guys, I promise you, you're going to get more kills. But guys, thank you for all the love and support. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. If we can hit 1,000 likes on this video, I'm going to be doing a massive V-Buck giveaway. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want another giveaway, give this video a thumbs up. We're going to do the giveaway soon. As long as you guys hit 1,000 likes, I know you can do it. But that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.